Welcome to the world of turtles. The Tetrafauna team is here to help you create the perfect home for your aquatic turtle. Let's get started. We're going to show you a basic aquatic environment setup. First, let's make sure you have everything you need. In addition to a 20 to 40 gallon tank, you will need a filter, gravel, thermometer, heater, basking platform, lamps, and water treatment products. Start off by inspecting the aquarium and stand. Be sure there are no breaks or cracks in the glass and that the stand is solid. Next, it's important to decide where you want to put the stand. Check to make sure your stand or surface and the floor are strong enough to hold your filled aquarium. Make sure the aquarium isn't too close to a window. Also, there shouldn't be any direct drafts, so be sure to keep it away from vents. Turtles like a water temperature of at least 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Tetra recommends a 20 to 40 gallon aquarium for a turtle that will mature to about 6 to 12 inches long. We highly recommend the Deluxe Repto Habitat, which comes with a bottom drain to make water changes a snap. Now clean the aquarium with water, not using any soap or cleansers. The residue from these can harm your turtle. If you decide to use gravel, rinse that too. Many turtle owners opt not to use gravel because turtles require frequent water changes and gravel makes it more difficult. It's your choice. Place the aquarium on the stand and pour the rinsed gravel into the aquarium. Be sure to add AquaSafe for reptiles to neutralize the harmful chemicals in tap water. Add a thermometer and Tetrafauna aquatic reptile heater so you can keep the water at approximately 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Install the Repto filter following the instruction sheet. The Repto filter is easy to use and helps you create an instant waterfall while keeping your turtle's home clean. Now fill the aquarium the rest of the way with water. Basking is essential for your turtle's health. A Tetrafauna turtle terrace is easy to use and easy to clean. You can also pile smooth, flat rocks together, but you must be sure to secure them so they don't topple over on your turtle. We recommend using a screen on top to keep your light from falling into the tank and to keep the turtle from escaping. Next, place the UVB light on top of the screen. Place your heat lamp on the screen over the basking area and position it so some of the turtle terrace isn't directly under it. This will give your turtle the option of basking with less heat. Run the filter, heater, and lights for one full day to ensure the equipment is working. After the initial test run, the filter and heater should run 24-7. The lights should run only 6 to 10 hours a day. Once your aquarium is up and running, you'll need to allow the water to circulate for at least 24 hours. This allows you to make sure the equipment is operating properly. Also, don't worry if the water gets cloudy. This is normal and it will clear on its own. Before you introduce your turtle to his new home, Make sure you have used Tetra AquaSafe for reptiles to remove chlorine from the water. Also, make sure your basking area has a temperature of between 84 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Water temperature should be at least 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Your turtle is ready to move in. When first inserting your turtle into his new home, place him on a basking rock. He will probably go directly to the water zone instinctively. He may even hide. This is okay. He's just getting used to his new surroundings. Make sure he can climb back into the land zone. Wait 24 hours before you first feed your new turtle. Most turtles won't eat until they become comfortable and acclimated to their new home. This can take a few hours or even a few days. You can feed your turtle twice a day after he settles in, usually about four weeks after initial aquarium setup. Tetra Reptum in floating food sticks is a long-standing favorite among turtle enthusiasts. Also consider feeding other supplemental foods such as Repto Treat Suprema and Repto Treat Gamorous. On average, the turtle should eat all the food in several minutes or less. The UVB light in your aquatic turtle aquarium should be turned on for 6 to 10 hours a day. The same goes for your basking lamp. The turtle needs the UV light to help manufacture vitamin D and properly digest food. The basking lamp helps prevent fungal diseases and shell rot. Your turtle and aquarium setup will thrive with just a few minutes of attention each day. For example, check your equipment. Is it working the way it should? Check that water is circulating properly through the filter. 
Is the heater working? What temperatures are you seeing on water and land? Does your filter cartridge need to be replaced? Regular water changes are the best way to keep your tank healthy. During the water change, put the turtle in a separate container. If you use gravel, a gravel vacuum can siphon excess waste from the bottom of the aquarium. Unlike fish aquariums, a 100% water change is recommended. When you siphon out used aquarium water, put it in a bucket and use the same bucket for each water change. It should be a clean bucket and should not be used for anything else. Be sure to add AquaSafe for reptiles to neutralize the harmful chemicals in tap water. Now, refill the aquarium with water. The filter cartridges in your Repto filter system should be changed every two weeks depending on the size of your turtle. However, change your cartridge if you find excess waste on it before two weeks have passed. Pull out the dirty cartridge and dispose of it. Then, open a new pack, rinse it in tap water, and insert it in the filter. Aside from routine feeding and cleaning, you may consider using Tetra Turtle VitaShell or Tetra RepdoGuard. Tetra Vita Shell is rubbed on the shell of the turtle to help treat dry or brittle shells. Tetra Repto Guard releases slowly in the water and helps prevent common diseases in aquatic turtles. That's it! You and your aquatic turtle are in the swim of things. Visit our website and Facebook page for more tips, advice, and information.